from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Say hello to Wendy's co-host, her studio audience. All right. All right. All right. If you couldn't tell, if you couldn't tell, today is Valentine's Day. And I bought each and every one of Wendy's co-hosts a rose. Listen. They were, super, they were super marked up today, believe me. But you know what? The co-hosts are all worth it. There you go. All right, thank you, Michael. All right, let's just do it, everybody. Shh, shh. How you doing? Oh, I am so happy to be back. I really want to thank Wendy. I really want to thank Mr. Hunter for this opportunity. Let's all wish Wendy a happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's, Wendy. Oh, I want to keep this relationship going. We have such a hot romance going on. And you know what time it is. It's time for Hot Topics! something that we whipped together for V-Day. <laughs> How you doing? Okay, listen, big congrats to Tamar Braxton. Tamar won Celebrity Big Brother last night. It was epic. It was Tamar versus Ricky Williams, former NFL player of the Dolphins, of the Saints. Listen, Tamar won unanimously. All nine votes swept it. And here's, here's, the, here's the biggest fact. Tamar is the first African American to ever win Big Brother. And that unanimous sweep is only, I mean, this is, this is just in, in, incredible. I was not surprised because Tamar, when she gave her final plea, the final argument in front of everyone as to why she should win, uh, you, you, you know, she has to stand in front of all the other guests and do it. It was really hard not to vote for her. Take a look. Meeting each and every one of you was a blessing, and I don't ever um, doubt for a second that it wasn't meant to be. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if you all have ever been in a situation where you've had the rug pulled from under you, but I definitely have. You know, I lost my job publicly in front of everybody. Um, I lost my husband, I lost my home, um, I lost my friends, I even almost lost my life. Um, but in the midst of all of the turmoil and trouble, I made a promise to myself, and that was to never give up on myself and to be, always be kind. Tamar, friend of the show right here. Remember Tamar came when she cut all of her hair off? I was so happy for Tamar. We all were. Listen, this is a lesson. If you're going through hell in life, just keep going, because it's going to get better. So happy for you, Tamar. She's gonna spend that 250 grand wisely. She said she's gonna buy a house. <laughs> Tamar also said right afterwards she wants to now be the Cardi B of television. I can see that, I can see that. Oh, I see that. Okay, Tamar. Congrats, you, you really deserve it. Also, listen, big congrats also to Tamar's housemate, Dina Lohan, yeah, <laughs> Dina, for not being catfish. There she is, my girl Dina. Now everyone knows uh, last week, um, everyone in the house told Dina, Dina explained that she was gonna marry a man that she had been in a five year relationship with, 
But not only had she never actually <clears throat> met this man, <laughs> she had never even FaceTimed with him. Oh. Okay, so like, remember like Tamar and like Candy, everyone was laughing at her and thought she, I thought she was being catfished. Even Catfish Man, Mr. <laughs> Neve Schulman himself was like, uh, girl, you're being catfished. Uh, <laughs> no FaceTime? Yeah, cat, even Lindsay Lohan, her daughter was like, um, mom, you're being catfished, <laughs> okay? <laughs> well, <clears throat> everyone, I'm actually really happy to say we were all totally wrong. Her boyfriend came forward, and he is a super hot 53-year-old. Yeah, that's hot. Look at him with the beard. Oh, man, that is a full beard. Yeah. Look, he's even got proof. He's like, I've got the newspaper to prove it. Boom. Yeah, look at him just like chilling. What's up? Yeah, I'm real. This ain't no catfish. Mm. Mm. He is 53-year-old Jesse Nadler from Tiburon, California. He's in commercial real estate. Okay, sounds like a real job. Listen, he's an old school dude. He only listens to vinyl records, okay? You know he's at home, putting on the Marvin, putting on the Smokey. He's like, mm, I got sunshine. <laughs> But listen, because he's so old school and only listens to vinyl, that's why he says he never actually FaceTime with Dina. He doesn't know how the old FaceTime works. So, oh. listen, things are, this is where it gets a little, this is where it gets a little shady, okay? <laughs> By the way, Dina was so funny on Big Brother last night. She came in like fourth place. And like she came outside and, and she was interviewed by Julie Chen Moonvez and she, um, she immediately, she comes out and, and, and Julie was like, uh, oh, so you didn't win. And, and Dina was like, I don't care. I'm shocked I made it this far. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm good. She was so funny. She was like, I'm good with fourth place. You know, Lolo Jones was like, um, certain people lie in this household. Um, you make a bond and then they break that bond. She's intense, that Lolo. Super pretty, but intense. But Dina was like, I I'm good. Hey, Julie Chen Moonves, I'm I'm shocked I'm still here, to be honest. <laughs> I love all these people. Um, so anyway, Jesse, super hot Jesse with the beard. Yeah, boy. Um, it's Valentine's, come on, it's all about love today. <laughs> Jesse said he's now looking for a house here in New York for them to move in together. <laughs> no, guys, don't ooh all that. This, they haven't met yet. <laughs> They haven't actually like touched, you know? And why is he doing this now, right after Big Brother? Like, it's just, it's so shit. Like, look, 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 look. Before you buy a house and you cohabitate, okay? Maybe, I don't know, first of all, meet, okay? And I don't know, take, take her for a coffee? I don't know, Dave and Busters, okay? Get her the tickets, play a little ski ball with her, you know? I mean, these two haven't even Netflix and chilled yet. They've done nothing. We love you, Dina, but just be careful, okay? We, we do love you. Um, okay, a uh, little more serious now. Um, Jussie Smollett spoke out this morning on Good Morning America, big interview. Uh, remember, he was brutally attacked by two men recently in Chicago. They have not found the guys. Uh, it was not caught on video. <clears throat> Some people, don't believe this is, he's being completely forthcoming. Uh, Jussie was asked about it. He was asked about the doubters who question his story. Take a look. It feels like if I had said it was a Muslim or a Mexican or someone black, I feel like the doubters would have supported me a lot much more, a lot more. And that says a lot about the place that we are in our country right now. I want that video found so badly because for probably four reasons. Number one, I want them to find the people that did it. Number two, I want them to stop being able to say alleged attack. Number three, I want them to see that I fought back. And I want a little gay boy who might watch this to see that I fought back. Okay. Full disclosure here, I know the Smolets very well, the whole family 
They are a beautiful family. Mom, brothers, husbands, in everyone is just more beautiful than the next. I watched this whole interview. I found it to be very believable. I believe everything that he says. For anyone who is doubting Mr. Smollett, I think they should watch the entire video and then form their own opinion. But uh, I'm just glad that he's doing well. So uh, very happy for you. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, okay. You know romance is in the air. I got my V-Day shirt on. Mm. I got my V-Day outfit on. It was, it was a little, <laughs> it is February, so it was a little tight getting in there. <laughs> this, this morning it wasn't pretty. I was like, Ugh! gotta do it for Wendy. Ugh! Okay. Valentine's Day, folks, love is in the air, and we got a new couple alert. We're talking Black China and Soldier Boy. Woo look at them. I love them already. I can't wait for this TV show. Now, uh, Miss China and Mr. Boy, they met the old fashioned way. They slid right into each other's DMs. <laughs> oh yeah. Hello, my lady. Are you up? Hmm. Hey, big head. <laughs> Soldier Boy uh, has already tweeted out that he is in love. <laughs> this, this is moving pretty quickly, but hey, it's cuffing season, okay? That's how it goes. Listen, though. <clears throat> Soldier. <clears throat> Mr. Boy. <laughs> Listen to me carefully. This is like important. I'm going to give you a little advice here, okay? Because. Miss China is, she's a delicate flower. <laughs> delicate China. You have to deal with Miss China delicately. Let's remind you of what kind of girlfriend Miss China is with Mr. Kardashian. Take a look. Who the f are you texting? And why the f are you still texting bitches? Who are you playing with? You still texting bitches? You just told me this. <laughs> Rob, so I'm lying? Am I lying? Are you still texting bitches? Yes or no? Are you still texting bitches? Yes or no, Rob? Listen, listen guys, we're all pulling for you. We really hope you crazy kids are gonna make it, but a lot of questions are gonna arise. A lot of questions are gonna arise when you're in a relationship. I've been married for over 11 years now. Like, listen. Questions are gonna come up. You know, Mr. Boy is gonna be like, uh, Miss China? Where would you like to eat tonight? And she's gonna be like, I wanna go to Panda Express! I want the orange chicken! Do you or do you not wanna go to Panda Express? Um, you know, uh, hey, uh, Miss China, what, you, you wanna go to the movies tonight? You wanna go see a movie? I wanna go see Mary Poppins! <laughs> I want to see the new Mary Poppins. I want to see how they reinvented it. <laughs> is you why is you not texting bitches? <laughs> Love those two. Happy Valentine's. It's going to be a romantic one. Listen, folks. <clears throat> Speaking of <clears throat> sliding into the old DMs, we got another new couple alert, OK? Tiffany Haddish, oh yeah. Oh, she ready. <laughs> Said that Drake's father, Drake's father, not Drake, I got you, I got you good. Said that Drake's father, Drake, Drake, Drake. Said that Drake's father, the real Dennis G, he's worth a follow on Instagram, touch me. It's Trust me, yeah, and touch me. Slid, <laughs> slid into her DMs and asked her out on a date, <laughs> okay? But Tiffany was not ready, <laughs> okay? Then, look at this guy. I mean, he's like, he's an OG pimp, this guy. Look at him. Am I, am I allowed to say pimp? Is that an offensive? Norman, is that offensive? You can say pimp, it's not offensive at all, but I think he's more like a cat daddy. Oh! <laughs> Oh. oh man, we're matching. Oh my God, you know what it's like? Hold on a second. You know what it's like? I mean, this is like the angel. This is like angel and devil here. Look at this. 
Oh, yeah. I'm gonna slide into those DMs of Tiffany Haddish. Don't do it, player. Listen, I'm your good angel. Don't do it. She ain't ready, player. Oh, I don't care if she ready or not. She gonna get the DM. I'm gonna send it to her. Yeah. I'm sliding right in there. Listen, player, don't do it, man. You're gonna embarrass your son. <laughs> this, is, this is kind of embarrassing. This would be like my dad. We have a picture of my dad. Yeah, my little father, look at him. Let's see with my wife. Happy V-Day, baby, I love you. <laughs> um, that's like my little dad I, trying to slide into Tokyo Tony's DMs or something, you know? Oh yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, mm, mm, mm. Whoa, uh, yeah. That could be my stepmom right there. <laughs> Listen, Real Dennis G, Valentine's Day, I'm all for this. Shoot your shot, Real Dennis G, love you. Go follow him on Instagram, but be careful, cause he gonna slide into no DM, yeah. What's up, Tiffany, you up, girl? Okay, now we're gonna get a little serious here, okay? This is, this is kind of a serious story. <sighs> I don't know if you heard, but Rich the Kid and Usher were robbed and shot at, shot at, outside of their recording studio the other night. Oh. Super scary situation, shots fired. Now listen, luckily, no one was hurt. Thank goodness, thank God. We love Rich the Kid. Rich the Kid is a local from Queens, right over here. Fan of his, whatever his song was, Splashin', he's, he's great, he's up, he's great, he's there. But if you follow him on Instagram, he's, this is, he's always posting photos, holding stacks. Look at this, dripping, dripping with jewels. I mean, look at this. He, he's like daring people to rob him. He's giving out his locations and stuff. It's. It's crazy, and it's a scary situation because now people are like shooting at them, you know? Listen, I, I grew up here in the New York area, most specifically, <laughs> right over the river, Jersey City. My grandmother and mother and I used to get on the PATH train, the subway, we'd get on there. The first thing my grandmother and mother would say getting on those trains is, turn your rings around. <laughs> Remember that? You take the rings and you turn them around so that the jewels are facing down so it just looks like bands. Turn your rings around. Even now when I have my kids in the subway, I'm like, turn your rings around. They're like, what? I'm like, just be aware, be aware, you know? Listen, I think it's time for Rich to turn his rings around. <laughs> and also, come on, like, stop posing with all this cash. He should be investigating like a sensible mutual fund or something. How'd that money make money? Come on now. And listen, also, thank goodness Usher was okay. We love, love, love you, Usher. I still believe he should have headlined that Super Bowl, which was in Atlanta, and Usher was raised in the A. I mean, it should have all been Usher. It would have been a great Super Bowl show. My wife and I love him. I actually, I gotta tell you, I actually, I only communicate with my wife in Usher. Yes, that's true. Look, I'm gonna show you a, I'm gonna show you a text I'm gonna show you a text, a series of texts. These are, these are real texts, I'm not kidding. This is from my phone, look, it's a screenshot. This is my wife, I'm working late, kiss the girls. That's my wife telling me, telling me to kiss my daughters. And I wrote back, honey, I don't mind if you work it till three, long as you leave with me. <laughs> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, and my wife says, Oh, my wife writes back, oh, thanks, that's sweet. <laughs> she has no idea, she has no idea. So I write back, mm, no, I don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> if you work on that pole, that'll make you a hoe. <laughs> Hold up, this is real. And my wife writes back, huh? No, I'm working at Manhattan Beach stages. <laughs> and so I finally write, you know it. Go and get that money, money, money. <laughs> that money, money, money. And then my wife writes back. Are you high? <laughs> Woo, we got a great show for you. Love you, Wendy. Happy Valentine. 
Up next, the beautiful and talented Rebecca Romaine, AKA my wife. So grab a snack and come on back.